Now it's 7.27 and a manor house in Surrey where Churchill planned D-Day landings is up for sale. I wonder if you've got a spare £16 million. Art Deco Hampstead House on St George's Hill in Weybridge was inspired by a 1931 watch. Let's find out more from the agent selling the house, Paul Finch, director at Beecham Estates. And he's on the line now. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? OK, I'm very well. Uh, the, the average punter in Surrey isn't going to get a look in on this one, then. Uh, the average punter probably isn't, no. Um, but uh, as, as we all know, St George's Hill... Uh, uh, has some pretty special houses on it, and this uh, this is probably the most special of them all. Yeah, and it comes steeped in history. Tell me more. Yeah, well, it was uh, originally um, built by uh, a Danish chap called Peter Lind. Um, he was uh, a big sort of construction tycoon in, uh, in in London and the UK in general, and built a lot of, uh, sort of power stations, and he rebuilt Waterloo Bridge and uh, various things along those lines. And... Um, yeah, he, he designed this amazing uh, concave sort of house uh, built out of hamstone, which gave the house its name. Uh, this was in about 1937. And uh, he, yeah, I mean, he, he, he was determined to buy the best plot uh, on St. George's Hill. Mm -hmm. And as a lot of your listeners will know, St. George's Hill in Weybridge uh, is this huge sort of 950-acre uh, estate that has about 450 houses, I think, on it, something along those lines. Um, and the plot uh, that, that Hamstone sits on is one of the largest. In fact, there are only two plots of uh, this size remaining now. Uh, it has over eight acres, and it's surrounded by uh, the golf course. So it really does feel like a, a sort of country house, uh, even though you're only sort of one hour from central London. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, great history, great house, and you can see why uh, you can see why it's uh, it, it, it has that sort of ticket on it. And so, yes, you get the history that comes with it. You get a very desirable postcode, and you get eight acres. What about the house itself? What do you get for your money? Well, you get somewhere in the region of twenty thousand square feet uh, of uh, living space, uh, and that. Uh, includes the most amazing sort of swimming pool complex. Um, you have uh, six or seven bedrooms, um, uh, an amazing billiard room in the, in the low ground floor, which interestingly was uh, used as a, a bomb shelter of all things uh, right. during, during the Second World War, um, but is now a very smart sort of billiard room. Uh, and that, that's just the house alone, sort of 20,000 square feet. You also have uh, this gatehouse, which is over 3,000 square feet and has sort of four or five bedrooms in it. And you drive up to this most amazing gatehouse through there. And this is very long sort of drive up to you know, this, this hamstone. The house just reveals itself, this concave sort of shape uh, house built built out of this wonderful stone, which has got a sort of real honey hue to it. Um, and hamstone itself is quite difficult to get hold of, I believe now. Uh, I think it was quarried in Devon. Um, when they built the the pool complex, uh, which was around about two thousand and eight, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, they they couldn't actually source the the original hamstone, and they had to go for a French limestone that matched almost identically. Um, wow. But uh, it's it, it's a beautiful house. It really is. Okay, so in terms of interest, have you had much so far? Presumably, this will be the sort of thing that you'll be marketing around the world rather than just in the UK. Absolutely, it, it it will appeal to an international market, and obviously we're we're in strange times at the moment, and uh, yeah, international buyers are finding it a bit more difficult to get to the UK. Um, but for sure, that's that's probably where it's going to go. And the interest we've had so far has been varied. Uh, we we've had we've had Americans through the door, we've had Europeans uh, looking around, we've had a Nigerian, we've had a number of sort of interesting uh, buyers to date. Um, and yes, uh, we, 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 we need a few more to, to be able to sort of come to the UK, All right. but, uh, problems at the moment. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for telling us about it. It sounds like a fascinating property. Paul Finch there, director at the Beecham Estates. If you're interested, get in touch. You'll just need a mere £16 million. It is 732 <laughs>